Sam, what's going on, man? Oh, what's up, man? I just looking for some peanut butter. I'm kind of hungry. Oh, okay. Hey, did you say peanut butter? Yeah. Hey, did you know that? No. You know what? No! Every single time I'm trying to eat something, you always told me something bad about it. And I can't eat it. Like the other day, Vung didn't even let me eat a Twinkie. He didn't even tell me why. Ah! Oh, God, Daniel, I'll stop eating! I'll stop eating those Twinkies! Just tell Timmy, let go! Ah! 140. Wait, what? 140. 140 milligrams of salt, 16 grams of fat, and 190 calories for two tablespoons of commercialized peanut butter. Really? Yeah, man. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Tell me about it. Dude, we need to make something different. Hey, I can show you how to make some awesome nut butter. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it, man. Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to make some homemade nut butter. And the ingredients are... Two teaspoons full of honey. And one cup of mixed unsalted nuts. Simple, huh? Yep, that's all. The special equipment you need for this recipe is a food processor. We got this recipe from another authentic mum. Woohoo! Thank you, authentic moms. Add the nuts to the food processor. Add the honey. Use the nut to scrape the extra honey off the spoon. Then you can eat that nut. You deserve it! Yep. Put the lid on the food processor and turn it on. Let the food processor run for a few minutes until the nuts begin to form into a ball. And when the nuts begin to go into the ball stage, the oil will start to come out. If the nuts you used are a little old or did not produce too much oil, you can drizzle in some olive oil. The crunchiness or smoothness of the nut butter will depend on how long you let the food processor run. The longer the food processor runs, the smoother the nut butter will be. You can stop the food processor during the ball stage and scrape down the nuts on the side then continue to run the food processor to increase the smoothness of the nut butter. Look how creamy the nut butter is so far. Mmm, look at the texture of that nut butter. Where's the bread? I'm hungry now. Me too. When you have reached the desired smoothness of the nut butter, stop the food processor and put the nut butter into a mason jar. Store it in room temperature. The nut butter should be good for about a week. Not that it would last that long around us. Now, now that's oven tasty. tasty.